Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Traveling Seas. Today we're in the beautiful island of St. Martin. Today we will take you with us as we visit some of the highlights this island has to offer, including visiting both the French and Dutch sides of the island, with stops at Great Bay Beach, the stunning Col Bay Hill, Maho Beach, and Amsterdam Cheese Shop where we got to sample authentic Gouda cheese. Our first stop of the day was to sample a popular liquor in St. Martin, guava berry liquor. Guava berry liquor is made from the fruit of the guava berry tree, which is different from the guava fruit. So don't expect it to taste like guava, they are not the same. The guava berry tree, also known as the rum berry tree, produces a small berry-like fruit that are used to produce this unique liquor. The guava berry fruit is fermented and mixed with rum and sugar to produce a sweet and smooth liquor. The flavor is a mix of sweet and tart, somewhat similar to a berry-flavored rum. It's often drank straight, but can also be used in cocktails or even in cooking. I sampled the guava berry liquor alone first and then tried it in a pina colada, which cost around $10 and was definitely unique. If you're visiting the island, you can find guava berry liquor at most liquor stores, or you can visit the Guava Berry Emporium in Phillipsburg. The cruise terminal in Phillipsburg had plenty to offer, including the guava berry liquor stand, a water taxi, some bars and restaurants, as well as many shops, including the typical brands for most cruise ports, such as Diamonds International, Effie Jewelry, Crocs, and loads of souvenir shops. We chose to head to the popular boardwalk area in Phillipsburg. There is a water taxi from the cruise port to the boardwalk in the heart of Phillipsburg, which costs $7 per adult for a round trip ticket and takes about 10 minutes. However, we chose to walk as we wanted a chance to explore some of the area. The walk is not bad. It took us about 20 minutes and is quite easy to get to. You just follow the main street and it will take you to the entrance of the boardwalk and Great Bay Beach area. Don't forget to please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos of all of our travel adventures. Your support means the world to us and helps us continue to share our experiences with you. We arrived at the Great Bay Beach area and we were blown away by how nice this beach was. Unfortunately, we did not get to spend too much time here as we had booked a tour of the island, but we did get a chance to walk around for a little bit. Now the beach itself seemed very nice. The sand was beautiful and soft and the water was crystal clear with minimal to no waves. The resorts along the boardwalk offer amazing deals on chairs and umbrellas. We saw a few that were advertising $25 for two chairs, an umbrella, and a bucket of beers or cocktails. The boardwalk itself is lined with plenty of shopping, restaurants, and bars, as well as a casino. As I mentioned, we didn't get to spend too much time in this area, but we do highly recommend it if you're looking for a convenient way to spend the day within a short distance from the cruise port. It had lots to see and do. The highlights of our trip was a stop at Topper's Rum Distillery. While we did not get a chance to film, I did want to make sure to mention it in the video as we definitely enjoyed ourselves here. If you enjoy rum like us, you should absolutely check it out. They had a lot of different flavored rums to sample and they were all very tasty. The island of St. Martin is unique in that it's divided between two nations, France and the Netherlands. The division has been peaceful for centuries and has resulted in an island with two capitals. Now it was time for us to head back to the cruise port for our excursion. For our trip, we chose to take a bus around the island to visit some of its most popular destinations and sites. We will be driving from the Dutch side of the island into the French side, where we will make a stop at Col Bay Hill, Marigot Bay on the French side, Maho Beach, and Amsterdam Cheese Factory to sample some authentic Dutch Gouda cheese. Make sure to watch the video in full to see if you could catch my reaction to trying Gouda for the first time. Colbay Hill is a popular tourist spot located on the Dutch side of the island. The hill offers fantastic panoramic views of the island and the surrounding sea. Many visitors choose to hike or drive up the hill to enjoy the scenery. The top of the hill is home to the Harold Jack Lookout Point, named after a local politician. From this point, you can see over the Great Salt Pond, Simpson Bay, the airport, and even as far as Anguilla on a clear day. 
While stopping in Marigo Bay, of course we couldn't resist having a Presidente, one of our favorite beers when we're traveling in the Caribbean. We now made it to Maho Beach, a world famous beach located on the Dutch side of St. Martin. It's best known for its proximity to Princess Juliana International Airport, making it a popular spot for tourists and plane spotters who could watch large passenger aircraft fly overhead at remarkably low altitudes. The beach itself is relatively small with white sand and clear turquoise waters. It's an ideal place for sunbathing, swimming, and snorkeling. However, visitors are advised to be cautious due to the strong jet blast from the planes taking off from the nearby airport. Despite its popularity, Maho Beach is not recommended for those seeking a quiet and tranquil beach experience due to the noise and disruption caused by the low-flying aircraft. But for those seeking a unique beach experience and the thrill of being close to landing and departing planes, Maho Beach is a must-visit destination. We were lucky enough to arrive at the beach shortly before a plane was taking off, allowing us to witness this firsthand. And it was definitely a fun thing to check out. The plane seemed so remarkably close. Unfortunately, we weren't able to witness a plane land, so we'll just have to try again next time. Our last stop for the day was the Amsterdam Cheese and Liquor Store for a tasting of Gouda cheese. Now, this was my first time trying Gouda cheese, and as you can see from my reaction, it's just not the cheese for me. They had multiple flavors of Gouda you could sample though and purchase, as well as liquor and traditional Dutch souvenirs. We hope you enjoyed our journey through St. Martin. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos around the world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.